Um, both of these gentlemen are, are very good friends of mine. Uh, I've known Darren Kidd, uh, the CEO of Rally slash R Link, as what kind of branding the R will stand for Rally, but R Link. Um, so from a marketing standpoint, you'll be able to say, "Hey, let me. I'll send you R Link, and we'll we'll go through the information, and then you actually send them R Link, um, which would be kind of cool." And uh, he and I have, gosh, we we go back 15 plus years. Uh, worked together on a few different projects, but really started working closely together a little over half a year ago. And uh, he's somebody that that brought this idea to me, and I just thought it was really, really brilliant. And and hopefully this is one of the last Zooms we ever do. Uh, soon, soon we'll be doing our link meetings and and uh, you know getting rewarded for doing meetings uh, on our own software. So that's something we're, we're all excited about. And then obviously Paul Michael, gosh, we go back 24 years. Uh, doesn't seem a day over 23 years though. So uh, Paul or 28. And I, <laughs> Paul and I uh, were in the network marketing world together. Uh, he was uh, somebody that was doing a lot of the trainings, came into my office and and helped me build uh, a pretty big organization. And and I wasn't even in his, his team, but he was really, really, uh, traveling helping my organization grow and just he's that servant leader he's somebody that really wants to help people and uh he's somebody that's really about disrupting disrupting industries uh disrupting markets and he created the the rev rideshare the revo rideshare which short for revolution because he saw a need in that space and and there was an opportunity to disrupt that space and it's a massive space and and so he just started cranking away on it and we started to talk about the possibility of utilizing blockchain technology to give an advantage to to you know revo when you're going up against a company like uber or lyft you know uber's a 150 billion dollar company or whatever it is uh you certainly want to have an ace or two up your sleeve and so uh we we've been able to figure out some efficiencies that the blockchain allows us to to utilize that'll make it very difficult for centralized companies to compete. So, um, you know, real quick, I want to open up. Uh, why don't we start with you, Paul? Uh, just maybe share a little bit of your background, and then uh, you know, kind of how we ended up where we're at today with uh, with Revo Rideshare. Thank you so much. Well, I'm excited. I mean, I I didn't knew nothing about blockchain. I knew nothing about I knew blocks, but they were just like stuff I played with when I was little. But I didn't understand any of this blockchain stuff. But like Tony said, and I've always been into trying to find things, a better way to do it. You know, my mentor taught me when I first got in business and the same business Tony and I were in, it's like you, if you find a big solution to, to a big problem, you usually come up with a big paycheck. And the big paycheck never really excited me as much, but just going and making a difference did. And so you know, Tony, with our businesses that we've done over the years, some of the things we always say is, listen, we want to bring value to no matter who comes involved with us, whether it's a client, whether it's an IBO, whether it's a rep in the company, whether it's employees in the company, we always want to have value. And so about eight, probably about seven, eight months ago, I really started looking at things because Tony and I come from a space of being in, we were in the delivery business, kind of like Uber and Lyft got out of that. And I always knew that there was a better way to do things. Um, I started looking at the rideshare space because I do a lot of traveling. You know, I'm on the road a lot. I'm in a lot of Ubers and Lyfts. And, and when Tony and I were doing the delivery business, we did a lot of deliveries. You know, we started, we understood that kind of what the drivers went through. And, and, and so we were always sympathetic and empathetic to what they went through. And more, more, even more so over the last eight months, I'm actually out in Utah right now. And the first time I ever heard about the blockchain, I was on the exact property that Tony brought me to to find out about the uh, blockchain. I'm out here with some Highland cattle and, um, you know, and we, we came out here and I set through a presentation about the blockchain and I was already working on the rideshare app, but there was no hint of ever wanting to do it with the blockchain. I didn't understand it. I didn't get it. I didn't know anything about it, but as I came out here. I knew nothing after I left either, just so you understand that. Like, I didn't understand the blockchain. But what I did understand is I got in a car, and the next morning I left from Sand Sundance, which we're about three miles, four miles from, and I got up at 5.30 in the morning. I The driver had to accept the ride, get up at 5.30 in the morning, 
put the wear and tear in their car, take me in over an hour into Salt Lake at 5.30 in the morning. And I asked the driver, I said, let me ask you a question. How much are you going to make on this ride? And they showed me on their app, $95. And I said, well, I'm not going to try to upset you, but I'm paying $263 for this ride before I even tip you. And what she goes, yeah. And a lot of people, when they find out that you're going to pay that amount of money, they don't tip. And I said, and this is, I started looking at that and I'm like, you know what? Drivers pay so much money. And I mean, they've had to put wear and tear on their car, all these different things. And so I got even more passionate about the ride share. And Tony started talking to me about blockchain and how it could be done in a decentralized fashion and how, you know, people all around the world could participate. And I knew this was a global, um, you know, opportunity. I was just on a call with a group from Sweden today that is so fired up and excited about what we're doing that I was on a call with them for over an hour. And so we started putting this program together. You know, I'm not going to get into all the the intricacies and everything, but we're putting a lot of money into this. We already have. And, and, but one of the things I tell people all the time is, listen, what do you understand the whole program? Whether you understand how it all works, what you need to understand is every time a ride happens, our clients pay less, our drivers make more. And every time a ride happens, someone gets a reward. And that's as about as simple as you can make it. And so we put together an amazing team of people. Um, Tony's brought some amazing, I mean, I have my developer out here. We actually had the ceremony and listen, I'm so not a technical person. I don't understand things. They were like, listen, we're going to have this secret meeting and we're going to put this in a room and you can't bring your phone. And if you know me, I don't go without my phone for very long, but we were in a room and it was probably one of the most amazing experiences of my life because it really showed me how much thought and energy and money and time and effort that the, you know, the group that the community that they put together put around launching our blockchain. And so as of today, officially, we have block, you know, we launched the blockchain. I walked out of there and they gave me a bag with some keys that I'll probably turn over to Tony as quick as possible. So I'm not responsible for them, but it, you know, everything is done on a decentralized fashion. They put everything to do um, it, it is an amazing way to do it. And so, I'm so excited. At the end of this month, on May 29th, we're actually going to start uh, the the nodes will start producing the rewards. We're already doing rides in West Palm Beach, Florida, um, and surrounding counties around there and cities. We just had some gentlemen that came down from Orlando who've been involved with Connect for a few years, and it's funny they said they came down, and and one of our drivers called me and goes, "Hey, there's some gentlemen that want to talk to you." And this was on Sunday before I left, and they said. Uh, we just wanted to see if this thing was really real, if we could do a ride. And it was awesome because they started talking to me and it was like, we did the, uh, a talk the whole ride. And so it's, it's so exciting about what's going on, how we're doing things, you know, at the 29th of this month. And I know Tony's going to talk about it and, and Darren may as well, is that I was, I was convinced about how important it was to be a part of this before today. But after the two hours and seeing what they put together, I'm even more convinced convinced that we're going to change the world in ways that nobody's ever seen because of technology. And I, I'll leave you with this. I see so many companies that they use technology to manipulate and use and, and take advantage of people. And I tell people all the time, a lot of these companies in the ride share space and delivery space, and a lot of these other companies, they are built as a technology company. And unfortunately people get in the way and they have to deal with them. With us, we're a company that's built, and it's not even a company, it's a community built around people and technology is going to be used to enhance their lives. So I'm so excited, I'm so blessed to be a part of this and I'll, I'll turn it back over to you, Tony. Right on, brother, appreciate that and appreciate the background side. Let's uh, move over to Darren. Uh, I'd love to hear, you know, obviously, you know, a little bit about your background so you can share it with folks that, that uh, maybe haven't had a chance to work with you or haven't uh, met you prior and, uh, let us know, obviously, kind of how you've taken that journey from where you started in business to where you're at today and, and why you're so excited about uh, bringing Rally slash R-Link into this blockchain community. Absolutely. Well, listen, thanks for having me on. And uh, let me just say something real quick before I forget. Um, here's what's exciting. You know, Tony went out years ago and said, hey, listen, we want to build a company and we want to go head to head with DoorDash and Uber Eats. And that's a big feat, right? Like because they're multi-billion dollar companies. And he did exactly what he intended to do. He goes, look, we're gonna, we're gonna go head to head with the goal for them wanting to purchase us. 
And with delivery, you have to have a restaurant, you have to have a driver, you have to have a customer. There's a lot of moving pieces, more moving pieces than, um, than it is with, you know, the, 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 the Revo rods, right? And he went out and him and Paul, they created a, a fortune, a Inc 500 company, and they ended up merging, you know, Tony merged with delivery.com. It's the number one franchisee in the world right now. So it's not like you're, you're going, you have someone that's a part of that company that's never done that before, right? Like this is a, a simpler model and it makes so much sense. If the driver makes more, the rider pays less and you earn rewards when you, when anyone takes a ride, that's a no brainer. And so I'm excited about that. So just a little bit about me. Um, I won't bore you with too many details, but you know, 25 years ago, things weren't going too well in my life. And you know, I was bankrupt, government assistance, applying for food stamps, and you know, all these things were going wrong. And there was a pivotal point in my life where I go, enough is enough. And it was when I was going through my little girl's piggy bank and and she walked in and the money that I said, hey, someday we'll go to Disney World, I'm taking her money for Disney. And she runs out crying. And, you know, I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people that live their life someday and someday never comes. You know, someday leads to a town called nowhere. But I also have found people like the mentors that we have. But if you look at, you know, Tony, I don't know too many people that have multiple companies that have done several billion the last couple of years, like Tony, not to mention everything else that he's doing. And so some people, some days are other people's every days. And so that was a day that things hurt bad enough. There was a pivotal point in my life. And that's where my book came from. I will until. And so, you know, that made me a best selling author, which should inspire and motivate a lot of you. So over the last, you know, several decades, I have had franchises. I have been in direct sales and hit, you know, built organizations that had hundreds of millions in revenue. And, and in each of those companies, because I was so hungry, I was coachable, willing to work, and I had desire, you know, and, and people would not even would look over me in the beginning. And in my mind, I'm like, hey, it's okay if you look over me, but when I pass you, you're gonna have to look at me. And so, you know, I was blessed to have the right mentors that 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 sewed into me that allowed me to go out and build all over the world, completely change their life. And uh, if you'd have told me I'd be, you know, being interviewed by Grant Cardone and, you know, all the magazines and all that stuff, I'd have said that's crazy. But we've been very blessed. So with that, nothing motivates me more than being able to make a positive impact in people's life and being able to give them hope. So many people today, they do not have hope. But so much, many of us, we want a better life for our family. We want to do better. We want to impact our community and then our, our, our country and the world. But it's so far out that we really don't know how to do that. And I've said this once before, a bunch of times before, if they had a class that showed us, hey, look, here's how to recognize the big, next big disruption, like Revo Rides, like Rally slash R-Link, you know, we would all sign up for the class. We missed the internet, Jeff Bezos, Zuckerberg, all of them, they didn't, you know, Elon Musk, none of them missed that. Cell phones, you know, back in the day when it was terrible reception, there were several thousand dollars and we missed that. And so here we are in blockchain, which for those of you, I'm so glad Paul shared his story because I was with him and Tony, right? We flew out there and we're getting hit with a fire hose of information. And I'm like, what is this blockchain stuff? But once I started digging in and I'm like, wow, this is actually growing faster than the internet in 1996. The World Economic Forum, not my broke neighbor, not people that wanna give you advice that don't have the life that you really want. It's the World Economic Forum saying that blockchain will disrupt $867 trillion in traditional businesses. I'm like, you know what, That this is everything I've prayed for. This is everything that I've been waiting for the next big disruption and it's the fastest adopted technology in history and when you have stuff on the blockchain we miss zoom we missed uber and by the way if you went back can you imagine somebody coming to you and saying hey listen you know how we were raised never to get into a stranger's car our parents warned us every time we left the house what if we pay to get into a stranger's car we would have all thought that was the stupidest business idea we've ever heard that's uber right? Or Airbnb, staying in strangers' homes. And so when you look at blockchain, we miss Zoom. We miss Uber. Here, there's no company. Company, It's decentralized. We are the community. We own nodes. We own the project, right? So it's community-owned. It's The power is going back to the people. 
So what I got excited about was I'm like, man, not only is video conferencing exploding after COVID, like it's companies will never go back to where they were ever before uh, again. Right now it's a hybrid model. They're going to work at home. They may work a couple of days in the office, but it's never going back. Video conferencing has grown faster than it's ever grown. You've got you've got all of these companies like uh, uh, big names like BlackRock and that are investing in video conferencing. And Tony, there was a, a guy that I followed for a long time. The guy is he's made a fortune and I'll never forget him saying this. He said, if you can appeal to the masses, you can dine with the classes. If you can appeal to the masses, you can dine with the classes. Who do you know that's using video conferencing? Pretty much every single person we talk to, whether they're real estate, whether it's a company, whether it's a network marketer, an influencer, an affiliate marketer, everyone we know is using video conferencing. And so if you have a way tonight, there were, we didn't care what link we used. Right? We didn't care if it was Zoom, go to meeting, uh, you know, go to webinar. But what if your link, you earned rewards? Right? And we know how this works. When I go to get gas this past week and I go, oops, I almost used my debit card. I don't want to miss my airline rewards, the miles that I use when I use my American Airlines card. And so the way that I see the video conferencing, there's no loyalty. But once you have a link and you're earning rewards for doing meetings, and sharing that with other people, you're never gonna let anyone ever send you a link again. You're gonna make sure that they have your link. So here's the way that I'm looking at Rally, which we're branding to our link, our hyphen link. We'll get you all the information. Revo Rides, is been, they're a few months, they've been a few months ahead of us. They started earlier. However, we're, we're gonna be launching, I think they're launching their blockchain on the 29th. <laughs> you know, our link is gonna be the beginning of June. I'm looking to fly out to Utah, do the same ceremony that Paul just did like the first week of June. Here's the way that I'm looking at it. <laughs> when we went out to Utah, every president of every project was presenting. It was overwhelming. And it takes some time to really get it, get them sometimes, right? So, I mean, now that I look at grow, the more I hear about grow, the more passionate I am. The more I hear Tony and Paul talk about rev rides, the more passionate I get. But when it comes to our link, it's easy to explain, easy to share, easy to promote. If you can appeal to the masses, you can dine with the classes. It doesn't take a long time to get it. To me, it's a door opener to all the other projects, right? I call it the expose, involve, and upgrade. So if they would have come to me, for example, we're sitting there and we're getting all this information. If they just shared, hey, listen, it's the first video conferencing platform, really legit platform, uh, uh, a project to hit the blockchain, that actually rewards the users for doing meetings. I'm going to be like, well, that's pretty easy to understand. And everybody I know uses video conferencing. It's pretty easy for me to share that and pitch it. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to do that. And so for me, once you get them in the door, <clears throat> then it's, oh, by the way, check out these other projects. We expose them. We get them involved with a free connect account. We can get them involved in any of the projects. I think this is going to be a very simple project to get them involved. And then we upgrade them to the other projects. And I know Tony's going to talk about this, but the way the token, token, uh, tokenomics works, 50 billion of the re rewards for the project for a lifetime, half of those are released the very first year. So when you get involved in a project year one, and all of you are not just year one, you're going to be day one. <laughs> so if you have a node, the day we roll out, you're going to be able to activate your node you are one of the founding members, basically, of these projects. It's like being a founder of Zoom or Uber, in my, in, in my opinion, in my mind. That's the way that I look at it. So never again will you get, now, once you get the, 20, the, the $25 billion to release the first year, it halves every year after that. So $12.5 billion the next year, then half the next year, and half. So this will be the most rewards that will ever be distributed in any project year one. And when you're able to purchase the node, right, the software for $2,500, and I was looking at the sales, I don't know, Revo sales, but I'm sitting here going, right now, I don't know what's coming through. We got people that are ordering, you know, buying 100 nodes. Right now, we're looking at at least 3,300 to 3,500 for our link, for Rally, mm -hmm. right? And 80% and happens the last 20% of the time. We still have another 24 hours and big orders are coming in. 
So never again, it will absolutely go up both projects in one day. And not only that, you're getting the most rewards for the lowest price ever for the, the, the node. So Tony, I know that was a lot, but uh, hopefully that gives a little bit of clarity to why we're so excited, why we wanted to pull this together last minute. And I can tell you my tip and any questions or whatever, my tip to each and every one of you is make sure you communicate and get this Zoom out as fast as you possibly can. Because there will be people two days from now going, why didn't you tell me two days ago when I could have been involved and bought the node at a lesser price? Now, will it be a great value in our opinion? Oh yeah, I mean, it's, you know, for a long time. Because if you look at some of the previous projects, some of them you can't even get the nodes in Eden. They're completely gone. Right. There's 100,000 nodes of projects. So Tony, back to you and I'll hang out if you need me to answer anything else. Uh, well, I, you know, I don't want to get too in depth. We want to kind of wrap things up. I've got one final guest. Um, that that we've uh invited on to, to just kind of share a little bit about their background in these projects and and this is a gentleman that i've become pretty close to and i've utilized a lot of the meetings and the mentorship that he delves out not only to his organization but my organization and other people's organizations because he's just that Again, servant leader. We attract a lot of those type of folks. But um, when you can get involved early in projects, there's certainly you know risk involved, right? There's more risk to to buy you know uh, Tesla stock when the company was starting, and Elon Musk was sleeping in the factory, and they barely made it out of out of like the starting gates. You know that company was almost dead before it ever got started. And if you look at you know, where they're at today, <laughs> it's a, it's not risky at all to buy, you know, the stock is, it goes up and down, but it looks like, Hey, this thing's going to be, you know, uh, a pretty good project. And so, uh, I always look at, could I have gotten involved early in Tesla? Could I have gotten involved early with Google, with Bitcoin, you know, obviously. Um, but the one that I, I could have and should have got involved with early was, was called Gala games. It was one of the, the early projects in this ecosystem and somebody that that did get involved uh is here with us billy womack and i want him to share a little bit about what happened for him when he saw you know a project several years ago and caught the vision decided to get involved purchase nodes and then what happened from that point forward I, and i might even be able to make him a, a host let me see if i can do that that way, if he does want to share screen, um, he has the opportunity to do that. So uh, I've got you on as a host. Can you hear us okay, Billy? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, well, you're good, man. Well, thanks for inviting me. And of course, Darren, you crushed it. And Paul, always, we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't know Paul on here without his sense of humor. It was funny because Paul, that guy that called you from your ride share, was one of my one of my guys that bought nodes. He he sent me a picture of him ordering the ride share, and then he sent me a picture of uh, of him taking a picture with the the driver with the rev hat on. He was Billy. Look, we're operational in Orlando or in uh, South Florida, and, and he told me that he got to speak with you. So that was really cool. And uh, yeah, so uh, you know these guys asked me to Tony asked me to jump on to kind of share a little bit of my story. Uh, you know, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Darren and his story. Darren and I, Darren and Tony and I actually met six months ago, I think right here in Vegas. But I know Tony was here. I don't think Darren was here for that meeting. And then Darren came up to uh, Utah and we got to meet everybody. My story is not much different than a lot of other people's. Um, I got involved with Bitcoin back at 200 bucks. I was looking for something different. I was looking for something that uh, 10 million people weren't already doing. And uh, I saw everybody talking about Bitcoin. This was early, uh, late 2015, early 2016. And some guy said, you need to Google blockchain and FedEx, blockchain, Mercedes Benz, blockchain, um, Walmart, blockchain, um, all these different companies. And the more I started reading up about it, the more I started understanding it. And now let me rephrase that. My first two opportunities I got into were rug pulls. Ponzi's and unfortunately with any good business, there's some snakes out in the grass and there were that. And I had one guy said, I got a guy for you. I got somebody you need to meet. And um, sure enough, he put me on the phone with this guy. 
A week later, I was in Reykjavik, Iceland, learning how to make Bitcoin at $200 with these machines right here. This is actually came from Reykjavik, Iceland the day I flew up there. This uh, is an S5 ant miner, and I flew up to Reykjavik, Iceland, and the guy was worth at least 100 million bucks when I met him. Uh, the next 13 months, I was on his private jet flying around learning how to, how to mine Bitcoin. And I said, man, if Bitcoin ever hits $10,000, we're going to be rich, you know. And as they say, the rest is history. But it wasn't until people started following me on Instagram when they saw me start flying around with private jets because they're like, all right, you were just broke, uh, you know, like two years ago. Kind of like what Darren was talking about, you know. I've had business. I've owned nightclubs, restaurants, sports marketing companies. I've done a little bit of everything. But at that particular time, just like uh, – just like uh, Darren was talking about, I was going through a rough patch. I lost a lot of money in a business. I was struggling. I couldn't even afford my flight to Reykjavik, Iceland, but I knew there was over 300 millionaires flying there. And I was like, whatever they're doing, I need to be in that room. I need to figure out what it is they're doing and, and attach myself to it. So I got on the flight, learned that. And about a year and a half later, he said, you need to meet the guy that kind of got me involved. Uh, in crypto, let's fly to Utah, same kind of scenario that Tony and everybody else went through. And this was way before Gala, and I was living in Tampa. I'm from Tampa. I live in Vegas now. And I was flying back and forth for a year, and he said, he, he said I got this crazy idea. We're going to build the biggest blockchain development company in the world. And I'm looking for some key guys to help me launch this thing. And I was like, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. It was so, like, but I believed in him and I, I saw his network. I saw what he was doing. I understood how to mic Bitcoin with these machines, but I didn't understand the software side of things. But I said, you know, this guy's extremely successful. I know that he knows what he's talking about, but let me just dive in. And I just started getting immersed. I, they started getting me on these Zooms with uh, the guys at uh, Launch Gala. And the more I learned, I was like, man, all right, I'm not going to go all in, but I'm going to get I'm going to get in the game. Just coach, just put me in for a little bit and let's just see how this thing goes. And so I remember getting the call from him uh, a couple months later, say, I need you to come to Vegas this before I moved out here and said, uh, we flew out and there's probably 25, 30 of us. He said, you need to get you some of these gala game nodes. Actually, at the time, we weren't even called gala. So we bought these uh, nodes. And like Tony said, I, I bought a handful of them, probably uh uh, less than fifteen thousand dollars worth of these notes. And Tony, you want me to show that real quick? Should yeah, I show? Me, uh, I had to let some people into the waiting room, so uh, I, mean, I don't have to, those. but I, you know, it's up you to get, you. Get, I like to see it for sure. Okay. You, you should be. So, uh, yeah, let me make you the host. You should be good. Okay. So, guys, what what happened was I bought these eleven software notes. They started creating. They have a responsibility. This is not a get rich quick. Scheme, you know, it's so funny. People are like always talking to me about this. And I tell them all the time. I said, listen, you're trying to get rich slow. That didn't work. So there's nothing wrong with trying to get rich quick. But this is not to get rich quick. It took us several years to do this, uh, to build out this platform. It was very generic. It was very basic. And we built this out. And I bought 11 software nodes. And those 11 software nodes have um, have made me about $11.4 million. That's that means for every $1,000, because that's how much I bought my gala nodes for. Now those nodes go for over 100000 each. For every $1,000 I put into this software node day one, which is kind of where Rev and Rally is, because that's what we're really talking about tonight. So you got to have a little faith, just like Tony talked about. Now that we've proven this system, now you have a track record. I am your track record. This last, gal this last uh, blockchain we did is your track record. We'll see how well this does here. Uh, so what happens is those notes got online. They have a responsibility to do. They confirm transactions. We got a deposit seven days a week into our wallets. And then all of a sudden, uh, the community, which is us, decided to start getting these on exchanges. We started seeing it go on exchanges. It went from three cents, five cents, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I was like, holy snap. <laughs> I was like, I woke up one day and I couldn't sleep during that time frame. I looked in my account. I had over at that time, I had $10.2 million in my account. Now, guys, I don't come from a lot of money. Matter of fact, I had, a, I had to get a full ride basketball scholarship just to go to college. We didn't have the money to go to college. I did that. 
blew up my knee going into then i ended up going to top secret i had uh, top secret clearance to the air force did this and then i got out fortune five coming i was just always i was always hustling but i never made that kind of money uh, what do you do when you wake up and you have 10 million plus dollars liquid in your account first thing i did was cry i was like oh we, just, I, we did it we did it and uh from that point on i i called my family i said listen how do how do we help everybody in our family because you know it's one thing for you to make it in life it's another thing to bring your family and get them involved and help them and uh the first thing i did was i went was got a brand new car that i enjoy my bentley uh that i love and then the next thing i did was i just started helping all my friends but when tony for whatever reason i'm gonna try to refresh this but it doesn't refresh it's just, it's just too many people on here i think it always works, but we'll try it and see real quick. And if not, then we'll just, um, I was going to show you guys still to this date, those 11 nodes that I paid $11,000 with are still meant to me about $15,000 in uh, rewards uh, per month. So I only put 11 K in, I pulled out millions and millions of dollars. I reinvested millions of dollars. I bought my dream car, my dream house here in Vegas. Uh, right on the Vegas Strip, and it's still making me about fifteen thousand dollars per month. All right, that's not going to work, so I'm going to stop sharing. Um, we tried. Uh, normally, when we get on here, we don't have four hundred and thirty-six people, so it's <laughs> so good. Good. That's the good news. The the bad news I couldn't show you guys, but um, I, I've shown it before. I'd be happy to show you guys at a later point. But what happened was when that hit. I said, all right, this guy knows what he's talking about. Now I'm going to go really all in. And uh, we had a couple more blockchains that came out. And now I, I bought hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of nodes on all these newer projects, including Rev and Rally. I'm super, super stoked about these. Guys, when you get people like Tony that come on board, I remember that first day I met Tony. I was like, uh, they were introducing a guy named Tomas was introducing him. We were sitting right here at the uh, Waldorf in the conference room and there was probably 15 or 20 of us and Tony's just really just sit back and chill just talking about say like, what's this guy going to show up that has all this money you know that's what I'm thinking in my head because Tony's just so down to earth and he started talking and I'm like oh there he is he's sitting next to me this guy when Tony talks he's just he, he's smooth but he's 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 very very diverse in business and I went into all mode at that point and I was just like all right this this is going to be good and then when Tony's like, hey, I got a couple ideas. We're going to bring this and this. And that's what blockchain really is all about, is the people, the community saying, how do we give the power back to the people? How do we put the power back in the hands of other people? And that's kind of what this is all about, is when you grow a community of people that are entrepreneurs, forward-minded thinkers, and risk takers, because that's what we all are here, guys. There's no guarantee any of this will ever develop into anything. But when you have a group of people like us that come together, we are the ones that create the value. So remember that. Why do I get on these Zooms with all these other teams? Because the big, this is not network marketing. This is a community of people. The stronger the network, the more valuable the network is. That's why I put in the hours and do this. Our team doubled from when Tony and all these guys, the excitement come in. We went from 4,000 to 8,000 people in the last 30 days just on my team alone. We're, we're, we're amassing just a massive team. And, and, and a lot of that comes from, from Darren and, and Tony and, and, and uh, Paul and everybody that, that momentum is building. You guys are in the right place at the right time with definitely the right team. Our legal team is second to none. Our core team, we don't have a corporate team. We have a core team. Our core team is second to none. And we are here to support you guys. We're here to innovate. And we're here to change the world. And that's why our company slogan is blockchain with a purpose. We don't talk about money. We don't talk about ROIs. We talk about how we can change the world. And when you talk about and you get this many people focused on how we can change the world, it may not, we may not hit deadlines. We may go over deadlines. We may this. that part doesn't matter to us. It matters to those people chasing money. And I get that. But we focus on how we can change the world. And those people that can change the world, you push together, especially on the blockchain, massive things are going to happen. So for those of you that bought nodes, congratulations. For those that you have not bought nodes yet, I'm going to tell you, my money's banking on these guys that are on this call right now. I'm super blessed that I got to meet these guys, bought some nodes with these guys, 
and I'm banking on them all the way. So Tony, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Appreciate you, brother. And, you know, at the end of the day, I think, you know, we've got 24 hours, give or take, before the node prices go to whatever the market determines they, they go to. Every 100 nodes sold, they go up $100. I think July, all nodes will be NFT. Uh, you'll be able to bridge them to ERC-20. You can sell your nodes in the open marketplace probably by July, August of, of this year. So it, it will be open. And I imagine the prices are going to go up <laughs> quite a bit. Um, you know, and, and it is what it is. It could not, you know, it all depends on how many users we have. But, you know, as Paul talked about, as Darren talked about, we're in areas and industries that are ripe for disruption. Nobody's really that loyal to Zoom. Uh, nobody's that loyal to Google Meet or, or to Microsoft Teams. And if they're getting rewarded for using a software that they're doing meetings on, they'll probably choose to get rewarded versus not get rewarded. Uh, if you're getting rewarded for getting in a car for ride share and you can do it for cheaper and you know the driver's getting paid more, you'll probably choose to get in that car. You know what I mean? Like get the rewards versus not getting the rewards. Uh, and I've got to work with James, Paul. That's, that's another thing uh, we were talking about. Uh, some of the leaders in the community is being able to, when someone downloads the Rev app, we want to open up permissions for Uber and Lyft app if they have both on their phone. And so that way, when they book a ride on Rev, it'll automatically pull up the other app's rates and show them what it would cost for the exact same ride. Wow. And then we can adjust our algorithms in different cities. And if we are a little more expensive, we'll just give crypto to make up for it. But if we're doing enough rides we'll keep adjusting the algorithm so we'll always be a little bit cheaper than uber or lyft the drivers will always make more as crazy as it sounds it's like the the uber customers will be their worst enemies <laughs> if they, if they download our app and literally just let us have the data and we'll pay them like we'll say, if you give us data and show us like hey this is what uber's charging for the exact same ride this is what lyft's charging for the, like we'll give them tokens for just doing that. And all they're doing is adding a permission for the app. You know, it's like your, your app's like, hey, do you want permission for the microphone? Do you want permission to your contacts? Apps ask us for permissions all the time. We'll just say, hey, ask, and grant us permission to pull up your other rideshare apps. And then literally their customer base will be their biggest enemy at Lyft and, and Uber because they'll be giving us the data. Because why would you do that for Uber? Why would you do that for Lyft? They're not going to reward you. They're not going to pay you to do that. We will. And so we have advantages that none of these companies are ever going to have. They're never going to fully decentralize. And we can purchase those nodes right now at $2,500. The price has been artificially held down because honestly, it was kind of my fault. I brought in a group of like uh, around 100,000 people and it was taking a long time to get them in. And a lot of them wanted to buy nodes, but they weren't in the system. And I just felt like it would be wrong for us to take someone who is going, I want to buy one of those nodes at 2,500. And we're saying, Hey, you got to wait until you're in system. And it's a week later. And now the node is 3,500. I still think like Darren said, it's an amazing deal if we pull this off, but I, I always feel a little disappointed if I, I wanted it at 2,500 and I had to buy it at 3,500. So it's like, Hey, let's hold the price down. And then it's going to launch up here in about, 24 hours, a little over 24 hours. I think we're going 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time. So we got a little bit of time, a little bit of, a, a, of an on-ramp here to get up to speed to get those nodes. And as Billy said, you know, becoming that early node owner in, in the Gala project changed his life. It really did. Now, that doesn't mean that's going to happen here. It doesn't mean we're going to repeat it. But I can tell you this. If you buy a gallon note today, it's probably not the same opportunity as when Billy bought it. It's probably not quite the same, uh, you know, upside. And as cool as it is to play games on your phone, I think it's cooler to actually take a ride and <laughs> go somewhere in real life. I think it's cooler to do a meeting and get paid for it in the real world versus just uh, selling a cow on a farming game to my friend who plays the same farming game. Not that that's not cool. I just think real world utility is better. And so we have an opportunity to be that spearhead, that tip of the spear of this blockchain revolution, of this decentralized revolution in rideshare, 
and meeting software. So I would recommend that if you have the ability, get signed up for free, obviously, whoever invited you on to tonight's webinar, get their link, sign up for free. Once you're in the system, if you say, hey, the, the, the rev notes sound great, the, the rally notes sound great, buy some, you know, buy some. I had somebody, my neighbor, uh, not here, but in Kansas, I got a place and I was back there a couple weeks ago and I met him for the first time and he's like, what do you do? And I was like, oh, I've got these blockchain projects. And I was talking about Rev and Rally and uh, he he works at Coke, uh, K-O-C-H, not C-O-K-E. Uh, it's a, the oil company, Coke Industries, second largest privately held company on the planet. And uh, and he he's an engineer there and his wife's a CFO uh, for one of the big conglomerates over there at Coke. And he was interested in blockchain. He never really heard about it. So he's like, you're working in blockchain. And I was like, yeah, you know, and I told him a little bit about it. And as the first time I met him or whatever, and then I flew back to Puerto Rico like the next day. And he messaged me. He's like, hey, I want to learn more about these projects, you know? And I was like, ah, you know, here's the video. And he started finding like videos. And he's like, I've been watching your stuff because I bought some nodes. I got one rally and one rev and I got a, uh, a wind node. And I was like, oh, that's, it's awesome, man. I, I didn't even tell him really what a node was or anything, but he's just kind of doing his own thing. And then today he's like, hey, uh, I just bought uh, 15 wind nodes and 15 rally nodes. And I was like, really? I was like, that's that's awesome, you know? And, and I was like, that's pretty exciting. And it's like, how many people are gonna catch that vision? And he's like, I just didn't make so much sense. This is a guy that's not in blockchain, doesn't really understand crypto, but he understands getting rewarded for doing something that he's going to do anyway, probably for the rest of his life and that his kids are going to do and his grandkids are going to do. And we have that opportunity to be the first movers. And I would recommend you get in system and if you can afford to become one of the first node owners. If you can't, that's OK. There's still opportunity. Build the community. Bring a driver to Rev. You bring a driver, imagine you're making a dollar every ride they go on. No big deal. They, the average driver will do 20 rides in a day, though. It's 20 bucks. What if you had 10 drivers around the country doing 20 rides a day? That's 200 bucks a day. Now, now that's not crypto. That's real money, like USD, like straight A, yeah, going into your ACH, going in there. On top of that, you'll get Rev tokens. You'll get rewarded for building that community. Imagine sharing a link with me and instead of using my Zoom, you say, Tony, you should use your R link, use Rally. And I use it. And every month when I pay my bill, there's a free version, but let's say I don't want it to shut off. I don't, I want the bells and whistles that it has. I, I use it. I start the paid version, which is cheaper than Zoom, but you're getting paid real money every month that I pay that bill. And on top of the real money you're getting, you're getting our magic internet money, which again, right now, not a lot of liquidity, not a lot of people, you know, using it. But fast forward, fast forward to what Billy saw when there was not a lot of games, very, you know, basic. And then all of a sudden you got 10 plus million people in the community. Go ahead, Billy. And, and I'll tell you guys, when I was selling the gala nodes at a thousand dollars each, nobody wanted it. Why? Because it was a, it was a big risk. This is where you guys are right now. It wasn't until gala hit two or three cents my inbox was flooded. People were buying them at six and eight thousand dollars in a node. Like it was just instant. I was like, "Holy cow!" The sales just went through the roof because then it was tangible. You guys are going to see an influx right now. We've got a couple other projects that we've been working on that are getting ready to to go to market or excuse me, go on the exchanges. When those hit, I'm going to tell you we've got a massive group on my team alone that bought hundreds of these nodes. And when they do, the first thing they're going to do is come back and buy the Rev and Rally nodes. They've been foaming at the mouth to buy a big chunk of these things. So I'm going to tell you in the next 90 days, like Tony just said, I guarantee you most of these nodes are going to be gone because I've got guys that have been with me now for six years over here that have got over 50 to 150 switch nodes and all these other nodes that we have. The second those hit two or three or four cents, they're going to come over and get 50 to 100 of these nodes, no matter what the price is. So get ready. If you guys haven't gotten your nodes from Rev and Rally, you got you need them. You got the first movers mark. This is the cheapest they've ever been, the cheapest they will ever be. So don't hesitate. Get them now.
I'd appreciate it, Billy. All right, lock and load, everybody. That's uh, that's a wrap tonight. We're 53 minutes in, still over 424 people. Uh, appreciate you guys sharing your time with us. Uh, again, there's there's opportunities. They're never lost. They just move to people that take advantage of them. And there's never any guarantees in life. But I look at something like Rally. I look at something like Rev. And I've invested in a lot of things over the years. I've purchased uh, a lot of different nodes and different projects. And what I love about Rev and Rally probably the most as far as these projects are concerned in blockchain, you know, when I do oil exploration and, and I put down money into exploring oil wells and they start drilling, I'm not a geologist, I'm not an engineer. There's nothing I can do to help that project strike oil. And there are times where they come up with a dry well and whatever I put into that oil project is Gandhi. It's over. I got nothing from it. And that's okay. I'm well aware that could happen. And that's why, you know, I tell you, don't take out a second mortgage on your home to buy Rev and Rally does. I think Darren actually would. <laughs> he'd throw everything he's got. I think Paul would as well. Um, I, I tell you, I don't do that. I don't be like Darren and, and Paul and be that, that crazy. And I know, right, we got a lot of buddies that would do that. Uh, I just don't think it's a good idea. But at the end of the day, I can't control whether my friends strike oil when they're drilling. I just got to pray and say, hey, hope they do a good job. Hope they get a deep, deep dig in there and get it drilled down and, and find find some oil. With these projects, people like us that are on tonight's meeting, we can move the needle. Like we can add users to the rideshare project. We can add users to the meeting project. And if we add a bunch of users, like Billy said, the bigger the network, the bigger the net worth. Metcalf's law says something pretty simple. The value of a network is the number of users squared. If I'm the only person on the planet with a cell phone, it's pretty much worthless. If me and Billy have cell phones, it's worth two squared. If me, Billy, and Darren, it's worth three squared. If me, Billy, Darren, and Paul, it's worth four squared. If everybody beyond here has one, it's worth 402 people squared. That's why Facebook is such a valuable network. When you have a billion, two billion users, the value of that network is the number of users squared. We can all impact how many users come into our communities and into our network just by sharing it with others. So you're in the right place at the right time. The last piece is you got to take massive and immediate action. Tonight's actions, I'd say get into the ecosystem. And if you can afford it, grab a rev node, grab a rally node, or do what my neighbor did and get a bunch of them. You know, whatever you want to do. I got more than about anybody here. <laughs> $54 million worth of nodes. So I'm certainly all in and, and, and committed. I'd be more like the bacon than the eggs. Um, you know, I'm more committed than the chicken. The chicken just, just gave the egg, the bacon, I guess the pig gave it all. So, uh, I'm certainly very bullish on these uh, and I, I never would ask somebody to do something in business that I hadn't already done myself. If you want to buy 55 million worth of notes, I got actually a guy a few blocks from me where I live in Puerto Rico. I can put you on the phone with.